fiercest and most controversial competitors. Today, we take you in the ring and behind the scenes with the grand champion, Asa Shoryu. I'm Kyung Won, they got to Japan, and this is Talk Asia. It's early morning in Niigata Prefecture, and the crowds are streaming in. Inside, the sumo are warming up. It's all eyes on Asa Shoryu, the sport's most closely watched competitor. The Mongolian-born wrestler is certainly not the biggest in the ring. But through strength and determination, this 28-year-old has been able to achieve the highest rank of grand champion, or Yokozuna. He's also faced his fair share of controversy in his earlier days getting into disputes with fellow sumo or even the head of his own stable. A year ago, he was hit with a rare suspension after pulling out of a tournament citing injury, only to be seen days later playing in a soccer match. He since apologized and has tried to move forward with one of the most successful sumo careers in the sport's long and storied history. We catch up with Asa Shoryu amid the action at a weekend exhibition tour on the west coast of Japan. Thank you very much for joining us here on Talk Asia. Uh, you're known as one of the greatest sumo in post-war Japanese history. Um, but you're not Japanese, you're Mongolian. So how is it being a Mongolian wrestler in Japan and being the Yokozuna. I had not thought of it in that way. I'm a Yokozuno of Japan who lives here in Japan. Though I'm a native of Mongolia, I believe in myself as a Yokozuno of Japan and I do my best in that role. You said that um, you're, you're very connected to your Mongolian history. How does that affect you in Japan? I came here because I liked sumo, and I have become a Yokozuna. I still have a dream to accomplish things beyond being Yokozuna. I feel I'm ready to achieve those dreams, and I am thankful to all of those who helped me get this far. I feel it is important to maintain my current position. You came from a family of wrestlers, your father, your brothers. What was it like growing up in that family? I had seen how my father fought in the Mongolian sumo way, and I saw that my brother had been a Mongolian sumo champion. I understood that that was a way for men to live. I was determined to follow the same path, even when I was young. However, sumo was not in my sights in those days. In terms of the Olympics, Mongolia was far away from winning any gold medals back then. But I was determined that I wanted to live and earn through a physical means. So here I am. Though I did not go to the Olympics to get a gold medal in judo, I achieved a gold medal in the sumo world. At least that's what I think. The coach that recruited you said that Mongolians are driven by a hunger to escape the economic underclass. And he said, quote, Mongolian wrestlers are different from the Japanese. They have nothing to fall back on. Did your life in Mongolia prepare you in a different way than the Japanese culture prepares its youth for sumo? To a certain extent, that is so. But not all Mongolians are poor. It's been 18 or 19 years since the nation changed from a socialist nation to a democracy. Certainly there were difficult times, but today it seems that some people of Mongolia have lost respect for their parents. Not everyone, though. 
But I had a dream in which I was determined, unlike most of the children, to earn a lot to make the life of my parents easier. And I climbed up to where I am today. Concern and respect for my parents and family drove me to this place. It could be a hungry spirit, I guess. Both Yokozunas are from Mongolia, you and Hakuo. What do you think about the both Yokozunas in Japan being foreign? Hakuho had some links to my father, and he also comes from a family with a sporting history. Since he came to Japan, he has been stepping out on the same route that I passed, and he is successful. So I'm delighted with this result. At the same time, we need to have one Japanese Yokozuno. Sumo is more intensely interesting when we have Japanese Yokozuno. If Hakuho and I were able to have good fights with a Japanese Yokozuno, then we would have more Japanese sumo fans. We are doing our best not to think that we are foreign, and we are waiting for Japanese rivals to emerge. How hard was it for you to come back, land at the airport, be chased through the airport by reporters, and then have to apologize live on national television? <laughs> 